Welcome to the official YouTube channel for the Colin Coward Podcast. Go on, hit the subscribe button. There you go, right down there. If you wanna be among the first to hear my weekly takes, NFL, college football, more, right there. I don't know what the, and I might've said this to you on TV today. I don't remember. I get, I, so I apologize if I'm in reruns. I said it to someone today. Um, I don't know who's going, what the division, no, I didn't say this to you. What the division around matchups are going to be. I know what the best ones would be. The, the ideal outcomes are the Rams beating the Lions because then you get the Rams playing the Niners. And that's a real scare for the Niners. Yep. That is a real legitimate scare. Yep. And I love CJ Stroud. I love that story. If we assume the Bills and Chiefs are going to win, which I think they both will, and that is a great round two. Chiefs having to go to Buffalo for the first time. Everyone, I am as America's most noteworthy, you know, Buffalo antagonist. I am rooting for the Bills. I want to see Chiefs Bills in Buffalo. Let's get Mahomes Allen. So let's assume that's it. As much as I like CJ Stroud, I'm rooting for the Browns because Browns Ravens is another one. That is a shitty first game for Baltimore. It's like, <laughs> wait a minute. We got to play the only quarterback in the conference with deep playoff experience other than Mahomes in a first game in a divisional matchup with that defense and they're hot coming off a win. And then I don't really care who wins Eagles Bucks because I think either team's drawing dead. But it's probably better if the Eagles win, you get Cowboys Eagles. But Niners Rams, Chiefs Bills, Browns Ravens would be an unbelievable divisional round weekend as far as where you could make a credible case for any of those six teams in those matchups. And you could make a credible case for any of those teams making the Super Bowl. Like, I think the Rams can make the Super Bowl. I'm not picking them to make the Super Bowl, but I think that it is, they've won seven of eight and the one loss is to Baltimore in overtime. I mean, that's with, with Sean McVay and Matt Stafford. Like, that's a real thing. And Baltimore's defense, I mean, sorry, Cleveland's defense, Baltimore, I don't know. I'm super excited. So that's what I'm hoping happens. I don't know if it's what will happen. That's what I'm hoping. Happens. So um, it's interesting. I mentioned you at the end of the show today. I said, Nick Wright, two weeks in a row, has said, you're going to bet the Rams over the Lions. And I'm like, no, contraire, Monfrey, that's not going to happen. And today, <laughs> I got my notepad out. Coach, quarterback, defense, Laporta's out. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, I got to take the Rams. You're going to take the Rams, certainly plus the points. Certainly I mean, with the points. Time out. Dan Campbell McVay, that's a two and a half to three point advantage. Yeah. Rams. Stafford, Stafford Goff. Goff, two and a half to three points. You have to take the points with the Rams. You have to take the points. You have to take the points with the Rams. I, I think the have to do is points with the Rams. I think that. When the Chiefs were, the, did you see what the Chiefs line opened at? It was Two and the, a half, didn't it? One and a half. And it was available for 90 seconds. <laughs> and, and, you know what I mean? Now, four is a different story. Because, you know what I mean? While I think the, the Dolphins might fold in the cold, the Chiefs haven't blown anybody out in forever. You know what I mean? Like, I that's that's not an obvious one. I think the next best bet is Tampa getting points at home. Against so an the, Eagles team that's falling apart. I don't think it's – I think the Kansas City – listen, you're going to play poker when you're retired. I'm going to do a podcast a week with a volume and bet football. And so when you bet football professionally, I wouldn't be on the air. I would wait for the lines to come out and pounce on them. I would live in a state yeah. where I can gamble, and I would just pounce. So, you know, like there, there are – the best lines of the week are always Sunday night, Monday. Those are the best lines always – and the sharps jump on them. And I've always said if I hit 63% from weeks, you know, three to the end of the year, I'd hit 64 to 65% if I could bet them, if I did blazing five on Monday. I would get, sure, it wouldn't course. be uh, dramatically different, but you would get like six to seven games a year where you just get a team you like, because I lost several games. I pushed on like four games that the yep. line just was, and I would say, I say on the air Friday, this is not the best of the line, but I still like them. Yeah. But I, I will say, is that these games are tough bets. I, I don't love any of them. I tend to think Philadelphia, I mean, I watched Baker last week. They were they were bad. 
I mean, they, that's true. And he's they hurt. Were. I mean, they it, scored nine I mean, points. If you go look at this run, they got two wins over Carolina. Like that, that division no, 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 is that's true. awful. That's true. So my so then if you take that out, the the next one that I think is I think like, Kansas City hosting a warm weather team that is depleted is a I would go up to four and a half. I think yeah, Kansas I mean, City, yeah, and Kansas, 28, and Kansas 23. City, Kansas City healthy, which they are. Kansas City rested. Like it's it's one thing for this Chiefs team to not be the team that it was projected to be before the season, which is the Super Bowl favorite. It's another thing for them to fully healthy lose a home wild card game. You know what I mean? Like the the reason the line concerns me is even if I'm even if I'm right that Kansas City controls the game, once you lay four, you're susceptible to being up ten and that shitty backdoor cover at the end, you know what I mean? At the end yeah. that just guts you. Um I think the Cowboys are going to score 35 points on Green Bay. I do too. I just the question think, is, can Green Bay score 30? That game feels like 33, 34 to 26. That's what it feels like. Right, right. That The line is exactly right. That's the thing. About, listen, the NFL in general, lines are never wrong. NFL playoffs, well, it's never like, oh my God, look at this bet. Like, no, I mean, that never is there. The only one is, I think the Rams are better than Detroit. I just flatly believe the Rams are better than Detroit. Well, they certainly have components. Without Laporta, yeah. it, it, that's, Laporta is the rare tight end. I mean, Travis Kelsey has 16 touchdowns and 14 playoff games. It matters. He He's better he, in the playoffs. He also, Colin, is the NFL's all-time leader in playoff yards per game. Not amongst tight ends. Amongst everyone. Amongst receivers with at least 10 games. He is the all-time leader in playoff yards per game. So, yeah, I mean, and Kelsey, listen, Kelsey hasn't been right all year, but I also think if you look at his snap count, if you look at things, the Chiefs have been, despite the fact that they've needed these games, they've blown some games, they have been, to my eye, a team that has been holding certain things. They have not broken the glass. They have, they clearly have not yet felt we are in full emergency because Kelsey hadn't played 90% of the snaps in any games. You are, you've only seen Mahomes run a lot and you saw it for the first time in the uh, Bengals game, which was to lock up the division and be able to rest in week 18. I still think Kansas city has a gear, just like you saw Buffalo here this last few months. All of a sudden, Josh Allen is running all the time. And you know why? Because they have to win. And it's yeah. like that is always their be- most dangerous play. Right. But they, they don't do it because it's it's dangerous for them. They can get the ki- guy hurt no matter how big he is. Um, I think can't, I'm always leery of teams that I think might have an extra gear. I think Kansas City might have an extra gear. And I do the, – the, the Kansas City stat that jumps out to me are two of them. One is – they are this this year. They have one loss when they either tie if they don't lose the turnover battle, and that one loss was the first game of the year. And their turnover, by the way, was a pick six the other way off a bobbled pass. Everybody talks about all these issues they have. the The sneaky problem for Kansas City is top five most turnovers, bottom five fewest forced turnovers. They have right. the third worst plus minus in football. Every other team in that bottom 10 is some shit team that is drafting early. <laughs> like you can't overcome that typically the Chiefs have. So maybe that kills them. You know what I mean? Maybe in the playoffs, they keep turning yeah. the ball over. That kills them. But if they don't, they don't lose. And do I trust them a little bit more come the playoffs? I do. And so I think Kansas City's super dangerous. And I think the Rams are super dangerous. Yeah. And if the Rams, man, if the I, if if the Rams beat San Francisco, that then means Dallas doesn't have to leave home the whole playoffs. Yeah. And so, like, they are sneaky. I thought one of the most important moments of the weekend was San Francisco or the Rams beating San Francisco. Yeah. Because that made San, the Rams the 16 instead of the 7. Because I yeah. think the Rams could have gone to Dallas and 
cause some real problems for the same yeah. reason they can go to Detroit and cause problems. So yeah. I don't know. We'll I see. I mean, a very sneaky MVP is Matt Stafford. Not going to win it. He has been on fire for about nine weeks. And I mean, 100%. arm angles. I mean, he has been. It's amazing. One of the reasons the NFL is so great, a baseball draft or an NBA draft, you have to be patient. Puka Nakua has changed the receiving core. They got a left tackle who's great. Two defensive linemen who have been excellent as rookies. It's like they got like four players who are impactful in the draft and Stafford's healthy. And it's like, yeah, their their roster's suddenly really interesting. The Rams draft this year is the Chiefs draft last year. It's like, oh, you got four guys that are helping you right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if four guys that are right now making a difference. Not like, oh, they're going to be good. It's like, no, yeah. they are good right now. When that happens, it changes the math on your team. 